In Oz, we follow the lives of some of the prison's most brutal and violent inmates. Life in Oz is tough, miserable and unpredictable, with often it being the cruelest and most cunning of inmates who survive and thrive. One of the most normal inmates, so to speak, is Tobias Beecher, who is probably the closest thing to a main character the show has, as we follow his incarceration in season 1 and his subsequent settling in. Beecher is saved from an abusive relationship with his cellmate, Adebisi, by Vern Schillinger, who advises him to switch cells and become his cellmate, only to drop the facade once Beecher does so, making the man his bitch or his prag, and what follows is essentially non-stop ass rape. Beecher is continuously tormented by Schillinger, physically and mentally. Beecher is unable to even enjoy a conjugal visit from his wife as Vern makes threats of violence against Beecher's wife and daughter, saying he has sons on the outside who could pay them a visit. Not to mention, the relationship between Beecher and his wife deteriorates while he is inside. The whole reason why he is in Oz is because he used to drink and ended up killing a child when he drunkenly ran over her, so there will already be underlying tensions. And then during their conjugal visit, she noticed Beecher's swastika tattoo on his ass that Schillinger burnt onto him. Season 1, and really the entirety of Oz, is full of Beecher and Schillinger messing with each other. Whether it be Vern kidnapping Beecher's children and killing one of them, Beecher turning Vern's son against him and thus Vern having his own son killed, Beecher ordering the death of Schillinger's son, Vern having Tobias's limbs broken, and both men trying to mess with each other's paroles. In season 2, Beecher receives word that his wife has passed away. Not only that, but she killed herself, and in the note she left, blames him. This leads him back to the drink, and he's sent to the infirmary where he meets Schillinger. And we get this little curious scene. Would it make you feel any better if I told you that she didn't commit suicide, that I had her killed? You're lying. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. She wrote me a note, telling me her reasons. She would have written anything. She would have done anything with that gun pointed to her head. I guess you'll never know for sure. So, Schillinger claims to have orchestrated the murder of Beecher's wife, who he says was forced at gunpoint to write the note. Beecher doesn't want to believe it, but as Schillinger says, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Beecher will never know. And we'd never know as it's never confirmed whether Schillinger did or did not have Beecher's wife killed. Even in season 4, when Beecher meets with the parents of the girl he killed, he says that his own wife may have been killed, so even years later Beecher isn't sure. The death happens at the height of the Beecher-Schillinger conflict, so is it possible that Vern got one of his boys to do the deed, or did he utilise the opportunity to rub salt in Beecher's wound and make him feel even worse, but in reality had nothing to do with it? Initially, it comes off as Schillinger just trying to give it some puff, but later on, he kidnaps Beecher's children and even kills one of them, so it clearly is possible for him to have Beecher's wife murdered. He obviously has the motivation, but why not just straight up take her out? Why the need for the fake suicide and the note where she blamed Beecher? Well, he is a sadistic guy, and he would have reveled at knowing he staged it so that Beecher would think he was to blame. Maybe he couldn't help himself when he spoke to Beecher, another layer to the torture, adding a did I or didn't I element to it. The timing is also a big coincidence. I mean, these two are having their feud, and Beecher's wife all of a sudden decides to off herself. Plus, it was in the middle of Schillinger's plan to get Beecher and Keller close. It's so perfect. McManus walks in and tells Beecher the news while Keller and Beecher were playing chess, and he turns to Keller for comfort, who is so sure in the next episode that he can get Beecher drinking again. If it's a coincidence, it's a massive coincidence. But then again, Oz does throw in some random plot points haphazardly, and the writing can be a little weird. And I did find it strange how Beecher hardly ever seems to bring up his wife again. He doesn't bring it up with Schillinger either during their meetings with Peter, Peter Marie, so maybe he dismissed it as taunting. We're told that she was looking to divorce Beecher and move on with the kids, so for her to randomly off herself, it does lend credence to the idea that maybe she was actually killed. After all, her suicide note was pretty blunt, pretty vague, only really mentioning that it was Beecher's fault, that he killed her like he killed that girl, which is the only information about this saga that Vern would have. If it came from her, 
Wouldn't she go into more detail? Wouldn't she mention the kids? Wouldn't she talk about how Beach's actions made her feel? How he changed while he was in Oz? She leaves her body for her children to find. It doesn't quite add up. Then again, maybe it's poor writing, which is a possibility with Oz. Or maybe I'm doing Beach's wife a disservice, who wasn't thinking clearly at the time. And sometimes people in these situations don't even leave a note. And Beecher doesn't seem to put it past his wife to off herself. It doesn't really feel like Vern's style. You'd think he would do the deed and tell Beecher in private that he did it and there was nothing Beecher could do about it nor prove it. Also, things Schillinger has done to Beecher are brought up later in the show. In particular, when Schillinger talks to Mayor Lowen. They talk about Beecher and Vern becomes defensive when he's accused of having no balls, saying, I did have his son killed and his father. But he never mentions Beach's wife. Surely he would have brought it up here. Maybe someone might counter here and say Vern may have mentioned her if he wasn't interrupted by Lauren, but I think that's a stretch. Apparently, there is a deleted scene where Schillinger directly tells Beecher he did not kill his wife and he was just taunting him. I've heard from multiple sources that it does exist, but I've never found the scene myself. Apparently it was on YouTube, but has since been deleted. I mean, in some ways, that settles it. But in other ways, it settles nothing. So Vern admits he lied. But this could easily be another game he's playing. Then there's the fact that the scene is deleted, and the showrunners must have surely had a reason, and that reason is probably that they wanted the whole Beecher wife thing to be vague, something for us to ponder on. So do you think Vern Schillinger had Tobias Beecher's wife killed? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.